What's going on, silencers, and welcome back to my own personal breed of hell. This is Seven Days to Die, as you have very well guessed. It is day seven at about 12 o'clock. We are preparing for the horde that will descend upon us at 10 p.m. And that dude will not shut up. I'm thinking about getting rid of him as soon as I find somebody with an automatic weapon. Just saying, if you do enjoy the content, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all those fun things. And thank you very much to my patrons for your support in sending me a bunch of supply flares, which I will go over a little later. But without any further ado, let's get into it. OK, so I did a couple of things I, I, as uh, as uh, what's it, Z Z1 uh, would say uh, I did a thing. And uh, so let me go over it with you. Um, I need to craft these papers really quick. Gonna craft those. Boom. We are now a survivalist. Okay, so here's what I did. Um, I finished the survivalist thing, the, the quest for survivalist. So we, I don't know how we got that one first. It was just a bunch of cooking, really. And then in here, I have the class paper for the tradesman, which is what we wanted. So, boom, just like that, we have the tradesman and 26 skill points to spend. But let me give you a little, uh, little taste, a little tour. Uh, so I made these supply crates and the supply crates normally just look like boring boxes like this. That's gonna get annoying. Uh, but then you have the paintbrush, magical paintbrush. If you pull out the paintbrush and you hit reload, you can literally paint uh, just about any texture you want onto any other block. Um, and in this case, they allowed me to paint those. Uh, the reason I bring this up is because I'm going to do um, something. W w what would my over the pond people call it we'll go over those in a moment uh i'm going to do something cheeky because up here i've run into a bit of an issue um these are cobble shapes because it will not let me upgrade these for some reason i can upgrade pl uh these everywhere else in this base but it will not let me upgrade these i have no idea why um as you can see, I've been able to upgrade these to cobble and stone, and I haven't bothered upgrading these yet, but I can upgrade them. Um, in fact, why isn't it letting me? Oh, because I don't have any of that stuff with me. Um, yeah, anyway, so this is um, raw rules is written. If you see it, um, that's what's in it. The only one I hadn't finished was this one. This one is going to be blocks and frames. Blocks and frames. OK, perfect. And that's where that kind of stuff is going to go for right now. I'm going to put one of those there. And this one is going to be plants and seeds. Then we can put all of the seeds in there. Any others? Negative. But that's not entirely true, because over here... So it's hard to see, but there is a... This is the blueprint schematic workstation, which we might use. Uh, but then there's this mortar and pestle on the top of it. Or pestle and mortar, depending on how you uh, prefer to say it. And I crafted a bunch of various seeds that we will put into our garden later, uh, which we have these garden plots, farm plot blocks. So those will be very, very, very nice to get that taken care of. I hear something up top getting killed by a wolf. OK, i um, going to keep those there. And oh, here are the supply flares. So these supply flares are really nice. Uh, if you grab one of them and slap a this down, um, 
at first I thought, oh, that's that's kind of weird. But if you just click, it literally just gives you the supply as if you had gotten a, an airdrop. And then look at that high powered ammo. So boom, just like that, we got some good stuff. I'm going to keep those supply flares and they're supposed to drop uh, more frequently the higher level we go. So maybe we'll find more. Um, we need to craft the wooden bow, the wooden baseball bat, and the iron sledgehammer, but we don't have... Oh, wait, we do have the materials for that. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. Uh, this is going to be my garage box, which is going to go up in the garage when we uh, finally get that sorted out. This was my garage box, which is why it was painted funny. This one is my parts box, so if I have any parts, those go in there. And... Uh, let's see. This one is way better than that one. So scrap. Uh, I have a steel one. Get rid of those. Uh, this one is going to replace my legendary. So the legendaries are nice. They're worth quite a bit of money. However, their stamina is ridiculous. 46.8 stamina and 51.8 stamina. This one, uh, does 23. So way more beneficial to just use better crafted normal ones um yeah so we're gonna slap that on there and i think i'll make i'll make this shovel turquoise and then click on the shovel w there we go uh we don't have a clubbed weapon that we need to put the hd barbed wire mod on and i'm pretty sure that i can't I don't need the lever action rifle anymore, um, but we're going to keep it for Horde Knight because it's probably going to come in handy. Um, let's use this one and put in the crafting things. This is better than that, and that we don't need. We can't really... I, I don't think we can. Oh, we can scrap those. Uh, okay, I'm curious. What the hell comes out of it if we scrap it? Tungsten tool parts. Uh, yeah, we'll scrap both of those. Get some tungsten tools. We don't need the scrap iron pickaxe, scrap iron shovel, the screwdriver, or the crowbar. The crowbar just isn't as beneficial as we originally thought. It's supposed to be really good breaking into things, but uh, it doesn't end up actually being all that much better. Fibers, cloth, and cotton. We are going to put the sewing kits in there. We need something for the raw metals, which would be that, that. Um, I'm going to put the ingots in there, too. Scrap those. And I'll put the short iron pipes in here. All righty, so we're just about ready. Now this is our chicken coop, yay! So if we harvest it, we got, oh wow, we got meat, leather, and feathers. So that's nice. However, it will never work again unless we grab some animal seed. And I think we only need one. Don't quote me on that. By the way, this was a bitch to make. Um... I had to go out and get a bunch of stuff for it. Here, let me show you the recipe for it. Nope. Uh, why is it locked? It's locked again? Oh, did I not save? Oh, shit. Hold on. Hold on. Well, why is it... There must have been an update to the mod, because I had both things. Anyway, I had both things unlocked. Obviously, it's not working. So let's grab that. We've got 26 points to spend. Sexual Tyrannosaurus, some parkour, some no healing factor. Uh, do Oh, wait, crafting. Let's do tools and workstations. Uh, can't craft any more of those. Food and drugs. Ooh, alcohol. Uh, painkillers and antibiotics. And then we don't... Ooh, lights and tech, actually. 
powered turrets and electrical devices because we have the generator and battery bank we don't need that recipes for vehicles how far away are we from that up player level 150 okay let's uh, uh really okay um get those all up to level seven then better spears better rifles better shotguns we should probably let's see this is junk weapons i don't know what the fu oh pipe like pipe weapons got it uh yeah i don't really want that um we'll eventually get into doing all of this but we're gonna grab all the pipe all the bolts and stuff and the iron armor hell yeah and then steel is level 150 explosives let's get grenades and can i get two levels no i could get dynamite but dynamite blows apart blocks and i don't want to do that right now uh get the steel hoe we already went through that one and that one steel tools are probably level oh level 200 jesus oh but wait we got the we got the perk for that we're good um skull crusher uh physician more medical hell yeah uh workstation ammo expertise advanced benefit perks now what do i need for this uh level five of mo oh, oh oh wow those are uh really good okay let's look in survivalist so survivalist has animal tracker which we can find small animal tracks the huntsman which makes uh, us get more from uh animals get the coffee maker the processing table ah we need uh need some more perks and we don't have any more perk point things so we're good there we're going to paint this where 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 my paintbrush there it is grab the paintbrush and this is going to be by the way right click to paint left click to erase so right click and we're going to put all of the ammo crafting parts in there as well as ammo that we don't currently have weapons for so yeah there's that then i'm gonna need a place to put these class bending machines these are amazing when you complete a class quest you get to put down one of these vending machines and they are similar to the vending machines that you can find in certain kinds of traders however uh they also um can't be picked back up so you want to make sure that you're putting them in the right spot uh for me i think that spot's actually going to be up here let's put them in this area but we'll clean up the area a little bit let's see we got swap those out before i accidentally put down something expensive there are five of them so if we put them one two three four and i don't really want to use this area but i, I think i'm gonna put my bedroom up here um one two three four five i could do that right there one two three four five yeah we'll put them right here i guess so tap this out really quick we've got a few minutes until horde night comes and this episode is going to be just a little longer uh because we're going to get through the entirety of horde night then i'll collect all the loot from horde night and uh well i won't i'll collect the loot off camera and then i'll go over it uh in the next episode if you guys end up liking this series mm, you fucker you guys end up liking this series enough to uh, to keep going after Horde Night 1. If you guys don't end up liking it, then I'm probably going to play by myself because I really do enjoy... Oh, you seriously won't let... Oh, you freaking cow. It's not going to let me put down the good stuff there, so I'm going to go down here 
to blocks and frames. We're gonna drop those frames in there. We'll grab the cobblestone frames. Oh, and I crafted a bunch of destroyed stone uh, blocks. Um, and then forgot that I wasn't gonna do that. Uh, so those are just sitting there in uh, in my stuff. Okay, here's the survivalist one. Here's the tradesman one. If we go in here, we can buy stuff. That's right. Uh, we can buy um, class exclusive quest. Oh, I can learn the trauma first aid kit. And then class vending machine for the whatever it's called. Um, are you serious? This iron does more This iron does better than this steel. This steel does worse than this steel. Um, big, oh my God, augers. Yeah, I desperately need one of those. I have enough money for it too. Um, I think we'll come back for it it restocks on day nine so we've got plenty of time i want to get the covert class done too and i'm kind of hoping horde knight will have the zombie that i need because covert needs us to kill a darlene soldier needs us to kill people with a pipe machine gun technician needs us to craft a motorcycle and i'm pretty sure uh we just need the parts of the motorcycle for that we also need the, yeah, what the hell is this? Cabinets and cupboards? Oh, might make a proper kitchen down here, I think. So many things. Wooden shutters. Wooden ladder. I like it all. I like it all. Um, let's craft two of those. Perfect. And then let's... Well, use those cobblestone cubes. Um, let's go up and do what I wanted to do with the... Over. Uh, entrance really quick. I think all of these are empty. I don't know. I don't know, quite... Literally not empty. Eh. I want to get those emptied and get all this cleaned up. Okay. So right here. We'll want that, that. I think this is... Yeah. Kill that. Then... We'll want to take this block out. Oh. Lots of hit points, however, the, um, Acknowledge. what do you call it? Uh, oh my god. Didn't realize we had that kind of, um, stuff going for us. Okay, so we're gonna go here, gonna go to shapes, gonna go to truss. Yes, this one. All clear. Metal trussing. Uh, it says metal, uh, because normally in the world that is actually made out of metal, but it's just a shape. So. Come on. Roger that. Almost, almost knocked out. Hold your horsies. Okay, then we're going to put this down here. Then we're going to come out here. We'll close that door. And... Uh, come on. Over. Where the hell are those shutters? Dude, you're really, really loud. I'm going to have to turn you down. Or figure out how to turn you off. Okay, so there's that. And there's that. And those open like that. So, shutter, iron shutters, 
just need forged iron and steel shutters need more than that. Um, but yeah, so okay. these, these will be for shooting out of if something goes horribly, horribly awry. Um, I'm probably going to move one of you back to be like here. So if something goes wrong and the zombies start to get in, uh, we can pull back. I hear ya, you dick. We're gonna have to repair our weapons before Horde Knight, cause Horde Knight is the kind of thing that... Hey! Quit moving! Get the puppy. Got the puppy. Need to turn off the boundaries of my... Fire in the hole. Boundaries of my stuff. What the hell is that? <laughs> that butterfly just attacked me. What the fuck? Something just spawned. It is very uncomfortably quiet. Calm before the storm. Only got a few hours until the horde. Okay, that makes me uncomfortable. Uh, there are nine zombies nearby. By the way, if you press F1, um, you can see right here where it says it'll update the time and it'll tell you how many players, one, zombies, entities. Uh, it basically just tells you what's on the ground. It's not like a debug option or anything, but... Uh, There's a zombie. Okay. I was just making sure, because every once in a while, the zombies stop spawning for some reason. And, uh... I didn't want this to be a boring horde night. Must repair it. Who the fuck broke it? Oh, shit. Do not want to go down. Just have to remember that those are not there when I... Come back. Yep. It's gonna be fun. Hopefully it ends up working. If the zombie pathing is right, they should all come to right here. If not, then I'll have to go up top and shoot down on them. For what very short amount of time that'll work because they kind of do the whole uh what do you call it the um world war z thing where they um they stack on top of each other until they get you okay load it up on loot gonna go deposit it and then I suppose now that we have the mini bike, which is upstairs, uh, we might be able to do something else. That's a art. Let's go in here. Uh, this one. Oh, those are other parts. What's this one down here? Ah, there we go. That's one that I wanted for that, 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 that. And we're going to put the mods in there that we don't need to. Weighted axe. 
And we'll put the flares in there and the tools we definitely don't need. So tool, 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 weapon, weapon, tool. Um, I have a rule about Horde Knight that I don't repair. Um, it's my own personal rule. I know a lot of other YouTubers that do it. But, uh, yeah, don't want to... Don't want to repair in the middle of a horde night if you can. It just feels cheap. But that's my own personal preference. Obviously, if any of you end up playing this, play it your way. It's how this game is. It's your own personal hell, your own personal survival. And sell those. And craft those into a lot of leather. Um, Acknowledge. scrap those. Can't remember what I can use glass for. Oh no, don't, don't eat it. You can actually eat the broken glass to kill yourself. Um, because why the hell not? Okay, that'll do that thing. So you put that there, sand and clay, you go there. Fibers and cloths and cottons, small stones, blocks and frames. And I'm going to put the large storage chests in there too, and those. And then wood. Plants and seeds. And I'm actually going to put the fertilizer in there too. Then the gunpowder, the raw metals. And we'll put the broken glass in there too. Then we've got this, this. Pump. Shotgun needs the gunsmithing bench, which I don't have. I'm an idiot. We don't even have a shotgun for tonight. So, don't need those. Um, magnum. We're going to have to make use of that magnum, it seems. Uh, blueprints. Go over to the blueprint stuff. Not that. Blueprint. And we can make a tier 2 blueprint bundle. Um, which is small. Craft that up really quick. See if it's anything good. Actually, what, what do I need up here? Calipers and a sewing machine? Well, I don't have calipers or a sewing machine. We'll have to hit up the trader tomorrow. Okay. I don't need the tradesman ones. And I don't need the survivalist ones, but I have the soldier and covert and technician uh, all squared away. Cool. Okay. So this is supposed to open up to... Oh, wow. Three things we didn't have. I'll be damned. Now, what does the desert vulture... Of course, it needs the... Uh, the gunsmithing bench right there that's irritating um we're gonna keep the household chemicals from here on out because it makes co2 uh and co2 is very useful or no damn it didn't mean to do that my bad my bad And I want to see what the blueprint bundles cost. No uh, skills. Blueprint workstation. No. Um, bundles. Schematic bundles. Uh, player level 125, which we're definitely going to hit by the end of Horde Night. And that will allow us to craft the medium sized bundles. And player level 200 will get us up to the large bundles. 
This needs player level 150, which will allow us to bundle some of our uh, more lucrative things. Uh, we don't need that. Oh, actually, that, damn it. I was going to say that sells for a lot. Eh, not anymore. Um, wood and nails. So put that in there. Do I have any more medicine? I do. So medicine goes in here. And then we're going to grab first aid kit, which does stop bleeding. So we don't need that anymore. Uh, we'll keep these on us. And we'll put away the blueprints for now along with the jacket and one of each of the classes we still need and the rest we can sell chemicals i don't have one for just like chemicals but i suppose acid would be medical along with co2 so i'm going to take that with me uh we'll go here we have an eco battery we have the weapon repair kits which are going to allow us to repair oh that just needs a pipe really no that's this one okay um in that case i'm gonna keep two pipes on me i don't think that it's cheating to um eh, to repair on horde night to repair your weapon on horde night um you guys will have to let me know in the comments below what you feel about that so sell that keep those that's medical actually that and that and then this is food so that we have a couple of shepherd's pie i've been crafting the hell out of those since we got the recipe for it let's grab two of those and two blackberries and one blackstrap coffee and that should be good there there is a screamer up top that i want to go and fight so bad put the duct tape in here and actually we'll put the nails in there too then we're going to use this for the paper as well murky water i'm not sure what i picked up to give me murky water um household chemicals murky water Oh, one of the blueberries um, must have spoiled, so it turned into murky water. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I don't need the repair kit tools, so give me get rid of that. Really don't need my dukes on me either. Let's drop that down. Uh, I don't think I have a pistol. I don't think I have a pistol. I'm not doing any more organizing or anything right now. Just finding if I have... Is there anything in this? Nope. I'm coming for you, honey. Don't you worry. But first, I'm looking to see if I have any of any other guns. No. By the way, we'll open these really quick. These are bundles. Ooh, lots of dart traps. Nice. Uh gonna put those away. We just, we don't have power right now, so the dart traps aren't really going to benefit us much. Um, gonna put those down there. Got my coffees. 
Uh, and then we'll put these in there as well. Oh, I know where my weapons are. Jeez. Let me Order switch knowledge. over my quest to soldier. Let's go up top. And that would be the warning. Scream. Perfect. Now, we should have some incoming. She screamed, which means we'll uh, get a few visitors. And I need to kill them with the gun. Yes, sir. Where'd you go, Stinky Pete? Yeah, I'm not going out for that. Oh. Guess one of them ended up down there. Kill confirmed. Going to have to, uh... <sighs> Going to have to prepare accordingly. Actually, I might start Horde night next episode, to be entirely honest. I wasn't planning on this taking so goddamn long. But, uh, yeah, it did. Oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Before I run off, uh, since we've got less than an hour to Horde night, I'll end this episode just a little early. Uh, Over. I have weapons. So, we have the options if we need the options let's repair repair it damn it hold your position i have the co2 right there you fucker grab this we have some shotties and some shotgun ammo actually going to take the fire in the hole whole thing of ammo let's grab where's the Do I not have? Acknowledge. Ah. Grab the revolver. We'll repair that, repair that, repair that, repair that. And ser seriously, what? Uh, that needs a tool repair kit now? It used to need the CO2. Request immediate support. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll go and repair that really quick. Uh, we don't need the 20 gauge slug or the 556 or Over. that. We aren't going to use the 45 ACP either. We're going to grab. Don't need two stacks of that. Do need two stacks of this. We've got the Magnum. We've got the shotguns. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's where we're going to call this episode today. If you enjoyed the content, you know exactly what to do. Come back next time for Horde Night of Day 7 in our realistic zombie survival. Hopefully it turns into something spectacular. But I won't keep you any longer. Thank you very much for watching and liking. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one.